Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are facing their biggest struggle to date as they seem to venture into separate career pursuits, a PR expert has claimed. Since the Duke's 40th birthday last month, he has been on solo visits to New York, the UK, and Africa. Meghan, on the other hand, has stayed at their home in Montecito with the two children, and even spent an evening at a red carpet event without Harry. It comes as they have spent years building a distinct brand as a duo. PR expert Ed Corum James said the pair had spent a considerable amount of time working on their brand as Harry and Meghan or the Sussexes. However, Meghan has now stepped into the lifestyle arena with the launch of American Riviera Orchard and an upcoming Netflix culinary series. In contrast, Harry remains focused on his charitable efforts. Public relations guru John Harrington now believes the move apart offers a confused message, providing his insight for the ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, going their separate ways. He said, there's so much baggage with their conflicts with the royal family. He went on to speculate about the couple's future public image, we don't really know if they're going to be able to shed the baggage that they have and to move forward with the lifestyle influence side of things, but it's definitely their biggest single challenge when it comes to their public relations. Harry is believed to have signed a four-book deal in 2021 that led to the release of Spare. It means the Duke still has three more books expected to come, with more Netflix series, including one looking at Polo. Royal correspondent Katie Nichol commented, They have to be coming up with original content. That deal with Netflix will only continue while they are coming up with content. Nichol says Harry is at his best when he is at charity events and promoting causes close to his own heart. She said, When we see Harry on his own, we often see Harry at his best. Doing the projects that he's passionate about, doing the work that he absolutely loves and reminding us all of the old Prince Harry that I think many people really miss. Meanwhile, branding expert Nick Ada suggested that Meghan is returning to her roots, reminiscent of her time running the lifestyle blog The Tig before she became a royal. He remarked, hopefully, it will be a positive thing for her because people will want to be part of her life.